So even in Trump land, the latest um, the latest claims being made against the president are um, reprehensible, absolutely reprehensible if they're true. Um, I'm making that caveat, and Joe Biden was careful to make that caveat. So apparently, um, the Atlantic has reported that, um, and this has been corroborated apparently by two senior commanders, that in 2018, when Trump was visiting northern France, uh, there had been a plan to visit the Ain Marne battlefield. Um, and it was cancelled uh, ostensibly at the time. I, I vaguely remember the report at the time. It was cancelled supposedly because of bad weather, which seemed a little dubious um, because the weather wasn't so bad that Emmanuel Macron and Angela Merkel uh, couldn't go. They both attended the ceremony. Um, 2018, I guess that would have been, um, I'm not sure, can't recall what specific ceremony that was. Uh, I think it might have been the centenary of the end of World War One, 2018, that's probably what it was. The Ain, of course, was one of the major battles, um, which American troops suffered very heavily in those closing months of World War One, uh, and the Second Battle of the Marne. Um, so apparently, uh, it's been reported that Trump said he didn't see why he should visit the resting place of losers and suckers. Um, that's staggering. If it's true, it's absolutely disgusting. Uh, I think Biden was right about that. And you could tell Joe Biden was visibly upset by this. His own son um, served in Kosovo. Um, I can already predict what the Trump apologists will say. They'll say it's fake news. They'll say it's just been made up to try and destroy his reputation. Um, and they'll try to spin it like it's, it's fake news. But here's the thing. I think people can be judged on the track record. And... Trump has a track record of lying. That's the first point. Secondly, he has a track record of disrespecting um, veterans. The famous example, of course, is the way he spoke about John McCain. Now, earlier I watched um, a video on, um, because I was actually watching eulogies of John McCain funeral, uh, famously made by Barack Obama and George W. Bush. But, um, you know, McCain went through hell in Viet Cong custody, the so-called Hanoi Hilton, two years in solitary confinement. A hellish experience. Whatever your views on that war, um, you know, McCain actually opted not to leave before POW should there been there longer. Um, now, Trump supposedly said that infamous quote, I like people who don't get caught, in response to John McCain um, calling some of his supporters crazies. But Trump could have just uh, criticised that. As always with this president, he just has to go into the gutter. So when he claims, uh, he's staunchly denying this, by the way, I should say, uh, predictably, but he claimed he has he had differences with John McCain, but he greatly respected him. Lie. It's just a lie. And the footage is there. It's plain to see. The thing that really bothers me about Trump supporters is you can literally show the evidence to their face and they will still deny it. You can literally show Donald Trump with his own words saying these things. John McCain's only a hero because he got caught. He's not really a hero. I like people who don't get caught. It's absolutely reprehensible. Um, I'm angry with it. Even not being American, I'm British, obviously, but 
you know, my my younger brother's in the armed forces, and um, I can imagine for any families who have sons, daughters serving in Afghanistan, that's just a blow. Um, Trump was very vocal. He says only an animal would say such a thing. But look at this president's track record. If there's any audio, I hope it gets released so this can be cleared up. Um, I think Biden was right to make that caveat if it's true. Because it's, you know, unless people directly heard it, it's hard to prove. But I do think when you look at Trump's track record, and it isn't just the McCain situation, it's um, that fallout I had with the uh, Purple Heart family, uh, Mr. Kisser and his family. Um, I think really in the long line of shameful Trump <laughs> insults, this one has to be one of the very worst, if it's true, if it's true. He also supposedly didn't want to go to the ceremony because he was worried about his hair. This man is not a leader. And, you know, his supporters will say, oh, he's done this for the trips, he's done that for the trips, but he's made a lot of rhetoric about how great the trips are and um, what he'll do for them, but... I don't know how people could reconcile that. Even if this isn't true, what he said about John McCain was disgraceful. I mean, that shouldn't be interpreted as just a swipe at John McCain because he could have criticised McCain in other ways. He could have criticised McCain as a politician. But he chose to attack his status as a POW. You know, McCain went through something that very, very few people anywhere go through. So it's not it's not surprising that at his funeral he invited um, Obama and Bush, but not Donald Trump. Uh, anyway, that's uh, we'll see how this one plays out. He's also come out and said that uh, he's encouraged voters his supporters to uh, vote twice in North Carolina to test the postal voting system. Um, I imagine in a lot of jurisdictions that's illegal. So here we have the President of the United States encouraging his voters, to, his supporters to break the law. I mean, that's the sort of thing you'd hear in a banana republic. Not the most powerful country in the world. I honestly believe that Donald Trump is making a mockery of American democracy. For all these things, Biden isn't a perfect candidate, far from it. But I think fundamentally he is a decent man. And I don't think he is the far left figure that the Trump campaign is making him out to be. He did condemn the looting and the vandalism. I think maybe he should have done that earlier, but and a bit more vocally. But I, I do not understand how anyone at this point can still make excuses for Donald Trump. I just don't can't fathom it. I do think that there's a sort of cult thing going on whereby his supporters have convinced themselves that every negative news, it's all fake. It's all fake. And I think part of the problem here is um, the likes of CNN are biased. But... Because they're biased, um, it creates a dynamic that every time there's legitimate criticism, it must be fake. Trump says he's a guarantor of stability. I highly doubt that. Look at the number of Republicans supporting Biden. I think he's a far more unifying figure. Yeah, he's to the left. But the fact that a um, large number of Republicans are coming out in support of Biden, senior Republicans, to me, speaks volumes. So I'll be interested to see how this one plays out. I imagine the reporters of The Atlantic who got this story 
Uh, they'll be under a lot of pressure. The president's going to come full steam at them. Um, if there's any audio, I really hope it gets released. And if his supporters still come out and support him, they won't apologise. He'll say it fake. It's despicable.